Now let's load the top thread. First you have your spool of thread put on the spool holder with the thread coming over the back side and you have the appropriate sized end cap put on here. I have the medium on this one. All right, guide number one is going to be our first stop, just like when you did the bobbin. So we're going to hold it from both sides and push it till you hear it go click. Then we're going to move over to step two, come around under that. Okay, at this point, you need to stop and be sure that your presser foot is raised. The foot down at the bottom, you need to lift the little lever to make sure that it's up. And I'm going to show you why it needs to be up. Right down here, this little metal flat disc, your thread needs to go to the right side of it in between that guide, that, and that's a tension guide, and the metal thing on the far right, the stationary guide. Watch what happens when I let my foot down. Did you see how that moves to the right? It clamps down. You see? Well, if your foot is down, it's going to be hard for you to get your thread in between there. So it is extremely important right now that you make sure the presser foot is in the upper position. Then you can lift your thread and lay it right in there. So now my thread is in between this outer metal disc and the stationary metal disc. gets in between there. And this is the lever right here that lets that foot up and down. So when you're dropping it down into this channel three, you want to be sure that this is in the up position. Next, we're just going to follow the arrow. And you see we're kind of making a U-turn right here at the bottom of three. And we're going to go all the way back up to the top. And you want to pull your thread to the right at this point. Inside right here, there's a little metal hook that has a hole right here at the very end of it. This is called your take-up lever. So your thread comes up on the right-hand side of that lever. And then you're going to lay it across. and let it catch in the hook when you come back down. Now we're ready for the needle, or almost ready for the needle threading. You're gonna come on down. See, we're at number five. Now, under here, you see where the number six is? Okay, so guide number six is right here. And it's a little bit tricky, but once you've done it, you'll be able to see. Hold your thread horizontally like this and floss it kind of in there. There's actually, it just, it, it has to slip in there. there. It's sandwiched in between another little metal disc that's really hard to see. But when you get it done correctly, it should be at the left hand side of the six. Okay? And pull it through there. It's locked in there. Now, the needle, to thread the needle, you can let your foot down now because you do need the tension on the thread. So that closed your tension disc. Now, you can just take the end of your thread and push it front to back through the hole if you want to, or you can use the automatic needle threader. Okay, so now we're ready to thread the needle. You can just push the thread through from front to back, or you can use the automatic needle threader. Now before you use, if you try it, like right now, it's not going to engage all the way. This thing has to swing around. So the problem is my needle is not all the way up. There's a little button up here. This little button right here will put your needle in the correct position. Well that went to needle down, so push it again and now it's needle up, okay? Now we're in the correct position. So if you press this down, and when you get to the bottom, keep pressing, it will swivel on around 
um, and like enclose the needle. So you're going to push down and it swings around and the needle like fits in between these little fork like tines. So next you're going to bring your thread all the way to the left. There's a hook over here. You're going to put it under that hook, stretch it all the way across and insert it in between the fork like tines and then it will pull a loop of thread to the back and you can just pull that thread all the way out. And now you are actually ready to go. I personally like to pull up my bobbin thread, which means just with your hand you turn or you can use your needle up down button. Send it down and bring it back up. And what that just did is it pulled up my bobbin thread. So now my bobbin thread is coming up through here as well. Okay, so now you have top thread and you have bottom thread and you're ready to put some fabric under there and sew. So if this was helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because we'll be doing some other things with the Brother ST150HDH. Thank y'all for watching.